The concept of sandbox starts with a feeling that social innovation cannot happen unless you co-create the solution with the people who need it and make them into innovators. Three very important uh, things. One is uh, the conducive environment for innovations. Second, the network with the people so that we can share our ideas, learn from them and the whole ecosystem is, is not just one organization. It is, it is all stitched together to make it an entire fabric. When you feel that there are others who are being supported, there's an ecosystem that's being created, it makes you feel, ah, the possibility of our endeavor succeeding is that much more. So it builds a lot of confidence. Sandbox and not only just uh, provides you the infrastructure but also very importantly gives you the advice, the mentoring, the, uh, the periodical reviews that is there, um, meeting with other organizations, most importantly the networking part that actually helps and uh, bringing in similar organizations working in similar sectors helps these organizations scale up faster. People within the sandbox being excited about solving their own problems is the biggest contribution that Sandbox is making to this region. Sandbox as a concept, basically, I think is transformational, if you ask me. And I'm very happy that it is uh, spreading, uh, the spirit is spreading sort of all across. I've come away with the feeling that here's an organization that is really making a difference. We are all solutions. You are solutions. You are solutions. And I have seen today that Hubli is a solution. So the only way you make impoverished communities into a vibrant community that becomes a full participate in the global economy is by changing complainers into problem solvers. And how exactly you do that is what evolved in Sandbox over the last 10 years. And I'm very happy to see where the Sandbox is today.